is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 4th of November, first full week of uh, November coming up, of course, election week. So we're going to look at the market. We'll see what happens to how the market responds every day to whatever comes up or down. Dow's down 106 at uh, 41,943. We had this beautiful left side, right side price tie match, the arch formation with the number of bars on the left going to the high of 43,325, equaling exactly the number of bars to the left to test that left side 41,831 low. And we've had a little bit of a bounce on Friday, gave back some, had an, a, an inverse green Chavame Roman candle. I'll talk about that when we come back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Meantime, it's kind of struggling that I'm being... There's a sell mode in the Dow daily, not the weekly, but the daily. Look at the S&P, also doing a little bit of struggling here. It's up uh, 53 cents or 50 cents at uh, 57.29, 50. Yeah, it's the same thing, making lower lows and lower highs. Hasn't tested the left side low of early October, but it is really struggling. The nine has gone negative. But look at that weekly chart, still very positive, going to the QQQ. Missed by about two points, going to an all-time high. A week ago, and now we're looking at the 485, uh, 487 re level, down 20 cents today. And today, the nine period moving average is about to cross positive. We have to wait for the end of the day. We'll see, but that weekly chart is still positive. But there is a potential for a peak C1, C2 in the monthly chart. We'll talk about that as well. Let's go to the IWM. The Russell 2000 is actually up 64 cents at uh, 19.72. It's just so interesting how, in a certain sense, it's been quite independent of the general market. On weekdays, it sometimes tries to rally, and on strong days, it does participate. And we're just going to watch it closely. It's not going anywhere right now, 219.74. I want to go to gold. Uh, gold and the dollar were going in the same direction. Now, over the years, decades, what I've noticed is that over the, over the year, Sometimes gold and, and the dollar can go in the same direction for three weeks or so. But generally, they're going in cross currents. But right now, the dollar, the, um, gold is up two, and the dollar, here comes the break, uh, the dollar is down 59 cents. So the dollar is starting to make a, a decisive turn to the downside on the daily. Weekly is still pretty good. Let's just go to bonds because they are up nicely today, up at almost a dollar and a half. I'll be back for the Tiger Tech.